Welcome back to the YouTube channel, y'all. Today is, what is it? It's Thursday. Wednesday. Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Jeez, I'm out of it. Right now I have my computer pulled up. As of this morning, 7.26 a.m., I woke up to a, a pretty interesting email. I got the results back from Merrick Health, from the, the full male panel that I went and purchased myself. Went to the doctor, as you saw in part one of this, and I got all the blood work, I did the urinalysis, they said it would take up to two weeks. We knew that wasn't gonna, it wasn't gonna take that long. So today I got the results in fast fashion, thank God. I'm gonna pull up the chart, as you can see. This is everything we need to take a look at. Right now, I'm here with the homie, Kyle. He's <laughs> here with me today, because he's gonna help me with uh, going over some of these terms and everything that was broken down in the test, everything they tested for, because this is not my, uh, my strong suit. I don't have the knowledge behind everything I'm looking at in this document. There's a lot of stuff in the test, right? Yeah, There's a dude, lot. A lot, yeah, they, so good. they really tested for uh, damn near everything. Like I told y'all, I was waiting to get these results. <laughs> I'm really excited, I'm not showing it, but I'm really excited because for one, I wanna see what's in my body. For two, I've been dying to prove y'all. First of all, I've been, I've been dying to prove the haters wrong. Second of all, I've been dying to prove the people who believe in me and support me that this is actually naturally attainable. But like the Come fact on, that man. you're willing to take this test, you know, says enough. Because most people would always yeah. find an excuse to not take this sort of test, yeah. especially if it's like Derek's test. You know, like he, oh yeah, 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 Derek's a genius. He knows coming his from shit. that guy. Yeah, the test directly from Derek. I'm doing it out of my own pocket. I've been pressed enough to the point where I feel the need to actually get y'all some feedback, give you what you want to know and what you want to hear. Right, so, people like shit on you in person, like people that hate on you. No, I never get shot on in person. Like, I figure, people know not to do that shit. Yeah, I feel like you'd be but, like behind your back. Yeah, and it's always the keyboard and text warriors. What did you think before this, Kyle? We were having a big discussion about like how you like never know with people and like, at first, when I first, first met Josh, I was like, bro, like, what the fuck? Like, you guys can see, you guys know what Josh looks like. I was like, you're trying to tell me it's natural. <laughs> and then uh, I was talking with Phil one-on-one, -on -one, and he actually had me scroll down to, like, the way first post of his Instagram. This dude was, like, 16 or 17, aesthetic as fuck, and already had that fucking popping tricep. <laughs> like, like he, that's obviously a genetic strong point in him, and, like... You know, this test I like, can really prove, you know, because a lot of people are stingy with who, like, you know, Kenny K.O. Like, he's very firm on saying not natural, uh, yes, natural, based off of Zeke. Like, you look at this dude, it doesn't look natural. But, like, if this fucking test, this test will, you know, say a lot. It'll say a lot in, in terms of what genetics are capable of, because, you know, Clearly this dude has one in a million genetics. Look at you when you were like 16 or 17, you already were like bigger than like most, like a lot of people at zero, bro. It's yeah. freaking crazy. Don't underestimate human genetics. Seriously. There are plenty of us out there. I'm just gonna put myself in that category because that's what, I mean, that's what everybody sees me as. I'm somebody who doesn't look natural. So there are some of us out there in the world who are just, I don't want to say better, like genetic wise, but who have, who have, jeez, who have genetics of this magnitude, I guess, who were able to look a certain way, physique wise, aesthetic wise, without the use of enhancements, PEDs, everything that this is going to debunk. So, like I said, I'm, I'm doing this for the most part to inspire people and to really tell you and to show you that there's no use in shooting it down before you even try. Because if you actually have some faith in your own potential, you could go a long way. You just, have to, you just have to fucking believe that. So with that being said, time to dive into this. What we are going to do right now, since we have these results right in front of us, we're just going to address the things that either say that they are too high in reference to the actual, um, where it should be in between, or either too low. So the first one that comes up as too high will be in the anemia profile B right here. Vitamin B12 is higher than what is normal. So normal range is 232 to 1245. When you said you were supplementing, like so using as a supplement, yeah. B12. B12, so B12 like, vitamins. Yeah. That like makes sense for that. It's not really like something that a PED would cause a spike. In your yeah, I wouldn't think B12. so. It's a vitamin. It shouldn't be anything too abnormal. And next, we got HDLP total is lower than expected. Um, it's 24.8, which is considered low in the reference. That one, that one could be low, like due to a lack of physical activity. And 
he got into a car <clears> accident. <throat> he's been out of the gym for weeks. I mean, yeah. it's something even significantly low, to be honest. But I'd say that that would do, be from you, like, training your ass off every single day yeah, to being essentially bedridden. Exactly. You know? Yeah, bedridden and freaking near death, basically. So, the next one, we got my large VLDLP is hot. 2.9. And the reference says it should be somewhere at or below 2.7. Yeah, this one can be spiked from eating more carbs or sugars and your body burns. And that's that's essentially like anything but cutting, like being depleted from calories. I mean, you're not depleted calories. You're getting in large amounts of carbs. Yeah. And like that one's literally, the normal range is uh, up to 2.7. This is 2.9. Yeah, it's 0.2 so higher. Point two higher. <laughs> it's like nothing even... And, I, and I've been smashing carbs, to be honest, throughout the whole recovery process from me getting in the car accident up to now. I just uh, recently started switching my diet back up to a regular routine with my proteins, veggies, and carbs. So I'm no longer just eating stuff to have energy. And I'm back into the, the actual routine of going for more muscle mass like I used to be. Specific, okay, so this is your analysis routine, the urinalysis test that I took. It says specific gravity. 1.005 is considered low. <clears throat> and this one has me a little uh, confused because on the reference interval it says normal range is 1.005 to 1.030. And I don't, it's actually within range. So I don't understand why it's saying low here, but. I'm not sure how, how low it is specifically. It just says it's low, but I don't know if this is something that Derek would wanna maybe more justifier. Urine color was yellow, the appearance was clear. So it that's might odd. just be because I was slightly dehydrated. But like, that's not even something that I feel like, like would signify PED use, specific gravity of your urine analysis. Like a big one would be like, say down here, right here. And my testosterone. So this, this one's obviously not highlighted, which is a good reason, but it's overall test. In nanograms per deciliter, the average range on this scale is 264, which most places that would be low up to 916 and his is 674 nanograms per deciliter and like what i was trying to tell him is that that's basically extremely normal like if he used to be taking like tests like a any dosage of test he'd basically have like insane test levels like it could be like 1500 plus or if he did SARMs or anything uh i'm not gonna put any names out there but like very low testosterone, you know, which is the result from SARMs. Like there's, Derek has gone over lots of blood works and SARMs basically proven to tank your test. Like that's just like the overall test in his body and the free testosterone. Like that's the one that his body can actually utilize. It seems, it seems slightly high, but it's not even like anything off. The, like the range is from five to 21 and his is 22. Yeah. 0.18. And I'm not sure what causes, uh, what would cause like a slightly high, you know, but yeah, the I'm overall gonna... test is like super important. Like, and it's really, really in the normal range. You know, Derek, you know, I think Lexus was what, was it 500? So like a, if someone was to say hop on TRT, their goal would probably be to get it in like 800 to a thousand, like upper normal range. So like yours is like- Right in the middle. Right in the middle. It's basically like extremely normal, like nothing out of the ordinary. Little confused myself as to the re the relation between obviously the testosterone free and the total. I'm not so sure as to why the testosterone free is at a higher rate. If the testosterone total says 674 and it's within range there, I'm just gonna go off of that as my general idea of where my testosterone is and what is in my blood work, obviously. All right, so like we went, before we looked over this, we basically looked at more plates, more dates his test for Lex Little. And we weren't sure if that was like designed specifically from Lex, but mm -hmm. he talked to, to Derek and he sent him this one to buy. And apparently yeah. in, uh, in Lex's, there was a test for HCG. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically like a compound people use like post-cycle therapy after like SARM steroids to boost your test. So that basically what he was saying is that if say he was to take SARMs and want to like uh, get a quick boost in test, hop off of it, you could implement HCG and like he took the same exact one that he had and we don't see in HCG test for in this one. So yeah. I don't even think his like, you know, his levels, like if he was to say be blasting SARMs and then start taking that, I don't even think it could bounce to like, to that. It would still probably be like low if anything. Apparently there was a no test for HCG, which that itself isn't even like, you know, like a PED, it's not like straight testosterone. It just used 
uh, post cycle therapy for people basically to get their balls to start producing tests again. <laughs> basically, that's what that's used for. Nice way to TRT put it. protocols. So glad I got this dude here to explain this because this is so not my field. Oh my god. Yeah. Testosterone, free testosterone. The numbers are right there. Moving on from that. Nothing else was seen as high or low in the rest of the results here. Um, I guess we can point out insulin-like growth factors at 195. It's reference interval is 109 to 3, 353. I'm at 195, so. If anyone's Jeez. gonna try to find something that's gonna, you know, prove you not to be, ne like it's Derek or Derek. whoever is gonna like break this down so in detail, cause there's a lot, like this isn't just, this isn't just like getting your test levels. Yeah. Here's your uh, sex buying goblin that's right in the normal range. Yeah. Right in the normal range. And that, if he was taking anything would be low. That would be low if anything, but honestly, like, yeah, the the test look like it looks pretty pretty convincing. I mean, they're gonna have to take a look at this because I know that they, I know how the way that Greg and Derek think, looking at like for example your Instagram pictures and be like, come yeah. on, really, dude? Yeah. Like you're saying this dude's natural, but like, let them go over this and like that's really gonna prove the power of genetics. I don't know. Uh, Kawa Kawama Kawame Dua. Do you know who that I is? Do. That crazy dude. Uh, Dr. Tony Huge literally like piss test him on the spot and like went over everything and like they found like nothing in hmm. the system. No way. Yeah, and like that dude is like like a freak. Yeah, like, he's a freak. So like certain people, man, like genetics play a, a really strong role. Like you see people who are blasting gear and don't even look that good. Yeah. You know, don't even look that good. Most of the times, I feel like it's people who are using gear that look that don't even look the best. Cause like, there's so many factors. Like genetics is like literally the number one factor. You could, you mm -hmm. know. And for example, if you know, set, given his natural status, that means that like the way I see it is that if you took shit, like you have like Olympian genetics. That's <laughs> that's how I see this. Like, you know, the, the, this fucking dude is natural. Like, like what do you mean? Like, if he like touched something, like imagine you were hyper responder. Like, dude, like all these people at the top levels, like competing, like it's like a higher and higher standard now. And it's like you're competing. Your goal is to like be the world's first natural IFBB pro, and like to a lot of people, that's impossible. Yeah, to, to which is why it's a crazy everybody. goal. To a lot yeah. of people, that's impossible. And everybody will doubt, and everybody will do what they want to do, see it the way they want to see it. I think Greg and uh, Derek would probably say there's a one percent chance that you could ever yeah. become IFBB pro. I don't even know if they would say it's possible now, mm -hmm. but like you know, imagine you just being that possible one percent, like the genetics, because like you have a physique that like ninety nine percent of people would. <laughs> dream of having bro it's like actually insane but like thank you dog that's crazy yeah, i like to defy the odds so that's why i've been pushing for this pro card and i plan to get it that's not something i'm going to give up on even even if i'm naturally in the even if i had this car accident i'm still i'm still here i still have fuel thank and i'm adding more fuel to the fire i'm still going to go for it this is uh like i said this is just something to give you all some motivation to really to show you and to teach you and i hope Derek and Greg can give it a little look over, help us understand more, help y'all understand more because there's a lot left out as far as knowledge and explanation here. They That's should also like, if they conclude like, yes, he's 100% natural, they should definitely like throw up like those first couple pictures of your Instagram I was talking about. Like the, when we first saw you like 16, 17, you first started getting into lifting, like you could tell like right off the rip you had insane genetics. Like your tricep was a strong point. Like just cut ass abs like that's something i want to point out i had a majority of my old pictures archived because they didn't look professional the way i wanted my page to look at the time so after greg's initial video responding to my natty or not and him saying that he went back and tried to find the first picture of me and it was one of my pics that weren't too far back in my childhood but it still looked like i went from this time skip into yep. me being and a that's, beast. That's like the one thing like Greg will look for. If he just sees that, he's gonna yeah. like be so quick. But and that's respectable. I, I, want, I want that, because that, that's the main thing. I was I was like, I wanna see if there's a specific point in time I could see like right there. Yeah. It was really hard to say. Like it, like I didn't see like a, it was like nice grad, like it was a gradual progress from a crazy foundation mm -hmm. right off the rip. So like if you have that like not hidden, they gotta see that. Like, cause yeah. like this dude is like 17 looking like, 
literally looking like dudes in their 20s who have been working out for a while. It was like really like crazy. If bro. I have any more pictures archived, I'll go over my Instagram today, see if I can pull out some more. Just in case Greg or Derek wanted to take a look through my, uh, my history and see if they can track my progress from where I was to where I am now and how I was able to just capitalize on my genetics and ride it up the puberty train. That's what I really feel like. I, I caught it at the right time. Started lifting sophomore year of high school. I'm 24 years old now, it's 10 plus years. I've been lifting for a long time and I like to go as hard as I can and push my limits. So there's, there's reasoning behind it. The work's been put in to be able to achieve what I look like now. And like I said, if you guys were to, to put in that time and have the faith in yourself and your own potential and not just shoot it down because it looks impossible. A lot of things look impossible. A lot of things like the Wright brothers. Everybody thought we couldn't fly, man. Everybody. And then they invented it. A plane so it's impossible until it's done and then this is me trying to prove it so and this is something this that most people wouldn't be willing to take you know because like a and lot of people knew, knew they'd be screwed why would I willingly do this test if I knew that I was taking steroids and it would pop up like this is if that's the case then this is me trying to expose myself which will be bad bad publicity why would I do that does exactly. that make does that, literally does that make sense no but they're gonna pe be the people who just will not have a change of mind or a change of heart and they will just continue to hate and just won't believe me. But I mean, obviously I know there's gonna be a lot of things like I'm sure Derek or Greg won't be able to look at this and be like, okay, he's 100% natty. There's always gonna be the, yeah, yeah but this is like this. Yeah. So it looks like he's natty. The best thing we can do is just little. wait and see what they say about this. Literally, yeah. that's like the best thing you can do about this, but. And I'm going to, uh, I already DM'd Greg and Derek and I'm going to see if I can get their email to be able to forward them the test results so they can take a look at the whole thing themselves and uh, do what it as they will. But um, yeah, this is, my part's done. My part is done. I'm so happy to be, this is the end of the natty road right now. <laughs> yeah. Not, let me take that back. That sounded a little weird. This is the end of the natty or not saga as far as me proving my, I, that I'm not a, uh, someone who uses PED, so. All right, that's all for this video, guys. Thank you to Kyle. Of course, Thank you man. to my man Phil behind the camera for being with, with me here today to go over this information. I hope you guys like the video. If you wanna see more content, cause I always got more on the way, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and look out for the next one coming soon. Always working. I'm Joshua Manoe. <laughs> this is the homie Kyle. Until next time. Peace out. See y'all.